really quickly. We talked about uh, Aiden Hutchinson and Jeff Okuda. So we're going to talk about each one individually and split it up here. So, I mean, obviously, man, let's talk about Aiden Hutchinson. The, the, the kid is a beast. Like, dude, I get it. No pads. I get it. You, you're wanting, you're wanting to pump the brakes. You're wanting to keep the enthusiasm through going through the roof. But it's like, huh? Oh, man. It's like, give the kid the, the due credit he deserves. He's beating Panay Sewell in practice, man. It's like Panay Sewell was one of the best rookie tackles last year. And he's going out there and he's making him grasp for air. He's beating him. And in some ways, he's kind of making Panay Sewell look foolish because it's like, hey, last year he was the new kid on the block that everybody uh -huh. thought was really good. Now Aiden Hutchinson comes in and it's like, oh, you thought he was good? Hold my beer. Here I come. Imagine those two. You get to practice against that guy every single day. That Both of them are going to be so much better, not only this year, but their entire careers. Because right now, that's the guy they practice against. Bro, you better bring it if you're either of them. Aiden Hutchinson, I mean, we need him. Like, him being good changes the team, I think. Um, we've needed a pass for so long. And I love the movie, the movie, the storytelling aspect of it. Like, grew up around Detroit, went to Michigan. They won the – go green. They went to Michigan and they won the Big Ten. Um, <laughs> and then he gets drafted by his hometown team, the Detroit Lions, who have a history of misery. And it's like, dude. You could be the guy that helps change that. That would be unbelievable. It's it's awesome reading that and you do it well. Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. I mean, again, you just, like I said a couple of minutes ago, you take a look at all of these players that have done really, really well in their own individual positions. We're talking about Hutchinson right now. But like I said, you talk about Jared Goff. You talk about DeAndre Swift. You talk about the wide receivers that have looked really good. DJ Chark, Quintus Cephas, like all of these players are doing really, really, really good. But the fact that Aiden Hutchinson, who is a rookie, and granted, he was the second overall rookie that was taken. The fact that he's doing so well, so early, that just blows my mind. It's like, listen, yes, I get it. He was the second overall pick. You want him to be good. But it's like, I didn't expect that he was going to be this good this early it's like man it's like i can't wait for him to put the pads on because it's like dude when the pads go on we've already heard about his motor we've already heard about his work ethic you can imagine with those pads go on it's going to go up an extra hundred percent and you're <laughs> good luck to the person across from him trying to block it's going to be a fun thing to see <laughs> those guys change games too that's what i'm just so fired up about is like you get an elite pass rusher he like your defense exponentially gets better. I don't know outside of the out of the QB position if there's another position that that changes the game more if you have elite talent or a bad defensive end. I, I would agree with that. I mean, the defensive end, like you take a look at some of the best defensive ends or edge rushers in the game. The Bosa brothers are one. And it's like, dude, whenever those guys are on the field, they tr they transform defenses because they can single-handedly uh, just disrupt the offense, whether it's getting to the quarterback, getting in the backfield for tackles for losses. And it's like, dude, I think Aiden Hutchinson can be just, ev just be as every bit as good as those guys. Now, granted, I'm not saying he's going to do that this first year. If he does, <laughs> please, by all means, let let's just enshrine him right now. But it's like, dude. It's like, I'm expecting him to have a good rookie season. I really am. But the, the way we're going to quantify it, that's going to be a little bit more difficult to actually get down to. But just how good he's looked in camp, it's like, dude, I just cannot wait to actually see what this kid can do once we're in a full-on game situation. And it's like, okay, practice is over. Putting up with uh, having to stop when the coach says to is done. It's like, no, 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 no. Now it's full live go. It's like, dude, until you hear that whistle blow, it's game on. Man on a mission, I'm a kid, and you know I be on the way.